also, the other thing that we do with them is, when we come in with their targets and a bait bucket, we show them their target and call their name, they're immediately supposed to pay attention to us. If we don't bring a bait bucket, we don't bring a target, we don't call their name, they ignore us. And that was set up so that if one of the trainers isn't here for that, for whatever reason, we have a day off or a vacation, I can still have a keeper come in here and service the exhibit without these wolves running to them looking for mice. So the idea is a keeper could come in, clean the pool, clean the exhibit, rake all around, the wolves completely ignore them because they're not calling them and they don't have their target. And they do that in the morning. If they were to come in about this time, this is typically our training session time, they know right now the only yeah, reason they're even up is because I pulled the crate out, it signals training session, and it's that time of day. Uh, but in the morning, any keeper could walk in here and service this exhibit. They'll be sleeping over there on the hay. If your keeper goes that way, they just get up and they calmly walk to the other side. So it's a nice dance. You know, they're able to clean the exhibit and switch sides completely ignore and that's exactly what they should be doing right now Jamie just went and laid down she knows I'm not asking anything from her so she shouldn't be following because it'd be a little horrible you're talking about carnivores and we're made yeah. out of meat <laughs> so it's kind of a kooky concept but as long as um, we remain consistent they learn quickly that's Jasmine, Jasmine. her sister Jamie two years old no I think about a year and a half they were born December 19th, um, sisters. At about a year of age, they usually in the wild will go find their own territory. Solitary by nature, don't hang out, don't want friends around. They will find a male and hang out in the territory, but not with each other. They only come together for breeding season. So now that they're a year and a half, they're still getting along, which is nice. But if they decide one day they don't want to get along, we have a door right there that they're conditioned to go in the back and there's a whole nother area back there that if we had to split them up, one could live here, one could live there, and we could swap them. We don't have a male right now. We're not part of the breeding program. There's about 90 main wolves in captivity in about 30 different facilities. And we do these bigger talks for a time.